Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Your support is much appreciated. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that have been, welcome back. I've fetched the kids from school. They're at home now. I'm about to leave. It's almost half past two. I'm going to pick and pay to get a few things. And I thought, let me switch on the phone and record and take you guys along to see what um, specials they have at the moment and what promotions they're running. So let's get going. Hi there guys, so I'm done doing my little shop run. I'm going to go home now and then I'm just going to unpack everything. Why is this? There we go. And then I'm just going to unpack everything and then I'm going to have to make me something to eat because I'm starving. It's now almost half past three. So let's head back home and unpack and start cooking.
Hi there guys. Hi there guys. I'll be back home with Unpacked. And I'm thinking I'm going to make me a little taco bowl. The family's going to have uh, rib burgers and fries. So I want to get started on my food. I'm so exhausted. Luckily for me, the shop wasn't that full. So I could form and do little things in the shop. So I think I'm going to just get started with um, with my food because I'm actually getting quite hungry. I bought me a little snack as well. I bought me some nuts. So I'm going to snack on that while I'm going to do my little taco bowl. So. guys I'm ready to sit down and enjoy my meal I might have slightly gone on potato fries but everything else looks delicious and I can't wait to dig in my first bite mm. The taco spice that I bought, very nice. And what's nice, guys, is that you can swap the fries out for um, normal fries even, or you can just do lettuce at the bottom and then put your mince and then stack it like I did with the salsa and the sour cream. A few moving parts. I had to do the mince and then I had to do the salsa and the salad, etc. And then the fries separately, but Overall, it came together quite nicely, and I'm enjoying this low carb meal now. Um, I'm just gonna have this for the day. This is gonna be it for me for the day, and I'm gonna finish my small packet of uh, nuts that I bought as well. And yeah, guys, it's uh, it's been a long day, so let me dig into this and let me just enjoy my meal. And um, yeah, I think I might as well chat to you um, about low carb and how i started with low carb and keto i started firstly i started with doing keto and uh, i did some research on keto and the benefits of doing keto etc and it's, i wanted to do something that's gonna also benefit my my PCOS because i do have PCOS and i'm insulin resistant as insulin resistant as well so i've got a double whammy if we can put it that but that doing keto or low carb really helps alleviate my PCOS symptoms and my insulin system um, symptoms as well it's not easy for me to lose weight i struggle but i try and 
keep to it as much as possible. My starting weight was at 120, 180, 120 kilos. And I can I was all the way down to I think 90 something, if I'm not mistaken. And I dipped below 90 a few times, like 88 around about there. So I lost quite a bit of weight doing uh, keto. Uh, firstly, I, like I said, I started with the keto, so I was very really strict with the keto, and then I changed over to what they call dirty keto, where you can do like fresh cream and sour cream and stuff like that. Right? But now, what I'm doing now is I just I do mostly low carb, and for exercising, I do my morning walks, and I've now also introduced cycling, I'm doing like a 10 to 15 minute cycle in the mornings and sometimes at night. But mostly I try to do my walking at least five times out of the week. So Saturday and Sunday I'll, I'll be my off day if I can put it that way. If, if I'm in the mood, I'll go for a walk on a Saturday or a Sunday as well. But most days, weekends, I'm off. <coughs> it's laid back. I'm chilled. I'm not going to um, sort of worry about exercising, etc. So I do, I do intermittent fasting as well. So... I do an 18-hour fast, and if I don't feel hungry at the time when I should be breaking my fast, I just continue and extend the fast. And sometimes it will go to 20, 24. Yesterday I broke my fast at 30 hours, and I had a, I just had some chicken, and then I had some uh, beef mince as well. So I keep it very high protein. Some days I don't. I I do very poorly with my protein, but most days I try and do as much of protein as possible so yeah guys i've i've had success with my with my low carb and i love doing low carb yes it can become a little bit too much to restaurants but more when you go to family events etc you cannot dictate to people now and now i have to please explain myself oh why don't you eat rice oh why don't you eat potatoes or oh, why don't you extend it fast when i go to the events i'll have whatever is available or if it's a bread share, I'll make sure that there's like a coleslaw, there's a Greek salad, there's grilled chicken. And worst case scenario, I can have, well, maybe not worst case, but then I can have whatever I've brought. But when, I, when it's gatherings like that, I like to enjoy the food that's I myself to have whatever is there. And I just enjoy the event and not having to explain to people that I don't eat chips, I don't do this, I don't eat that. I just enjoy the day. And then I finish the meal and I don't try not to continue snacking, etc. Then I'll just have a meal and then that, <coughs> and that's that. That's the only thing I've really found. That's the only thing I find that's very challenging is that when you go to events or when you go to a family supper or a lunch or whatever and you're not in control of the meal. And you have to eat whatever is there. So I for me personally, I just enjoy whatever is there. And then I keep it moving. I need to do a what I eat in a day. Examples of what the breakfast is, what's lunch, and what's supper, etc. And what I also do is I'll do uh, things that I also like to have in the house, like little staples I like to have in the house when I do my low carb. Okay, so let me continue eating my food. I hope that you enjoyed this little quick little vlog. I didn't have much to do today. I have kids brought them home, and then I just went to the shop quickly to get a few things. And with the family, I put some food and then I just prepared my meal as well. And now I'm going to ask you to please excuse me while I continue enjoying my food. Hi there guys, so I'm done with my meal. It was delicious. It was quick and it was easy. And like I said, there was quite a bit of moving parts. But that being said, it was worth all the chopping and the prepping, etc. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on this video, the support is much appreciated i love you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye